everyone is familiar with the legend of King Arthur. Even in the present day, people are still interested in discovering proof that this once powerful king really existed. Possibly, you believe that his narrative is solely connected to England, but this story will show you that this is not the case. The enigmatic woodland known as Forêt de Brocéliande is located in Brittany, France, and is said to be the birthplace of the tale of King Arthur. There is a lot of mystery and folklore around this old woodland. The settlement of Pimepont is located next to the Forêt de Brocéliande, which is located in the French department of ile et vilain The term Forêt de Pimepont is the official name of the forest. Nevertheless, the majority of people refer to it as Forêt de Brocéliande. It is estimated that the forest covers 22,240 acres, 9,000 hectares, and the majority of it is owned by private individuals. This area has a little slope, and it is home to a wide variety of animals, including deer, squirrels, hedgehogs, and birds. The precise age of the forest is unclear. However, given that it is a component of the Armorican Massif, it is very ancient, dating back millions of years. This ancient woodland is home to a great number of stories and legends. The same may be said about Forêt de Brocéliande. It is not surprising that your imagination runs wild when you are surrounded by megaliths, oak trees that are over a century old, and several streams and lakes. Additionally, there is a castle that resembles a storybook and looks out over the forest. This castle is known as Chateau Compère, or Compère Castle. At the same time, this castle is rather old. King Salomon controlled Brittany from this location in the 9th century, which is when it most likely dates back to. In addition, Compère Castle was owned by Baron Raoul de Gale Montfort, who was a personal companion of William of Normandy, who is more often referred to as William the Conqueror. Nevertheless, Compère, Castle is said to have been the residence of Dionys, the father of the fairy Vivian, according to a legend. Compare Castle, which is steeped in history and urban mythology, is an important location in the Arthurian mythology. At the present day, it serves as the location of the Arthurian Tale Center, also known as the Centre de l'Imaginaire Arthurian, which is dedicated to preserving the tale of King Arthur. The question is, how did King Arthur come to be in France? To tell you the truth, the tale begins right here in this magical woodland. Brittany is the location where the adventure of King Arthur begins, as stated in sources that date back to the year 1600. Due to the fact that this region of France was a part of England's history at that period, this is not quite as weird as it may seem. This place is the birthplace of a great number of important figures in the Arthurian legend. Please allow me to guide you through them.